Welcome to Excel YouTube Magic Trick number 95. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link and download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 91 to 99. Hey, trick number 95 is a short one. It's just how in the world to use the dollar function. Now, sometimes in Excel, you are making formulas, but you're not making math formulas. You're making text formulas. Here it is. We have our monthly payment right here. We have a bunch of input variables. So if I change the number of years here to 25, instantly our number of periods changes, and so does our uh, payment. Now this is how this is um, a PMT function using numbers, and we're calculating. Now let's see how to do a formula where we use the dollar function to make a label. And what we wanted to say in this cell is your monthly payment is whatever that is in that cell. So equals, and when you do text, you have to put it in quotes. Your period payment is space, end quote. Now, right now, um, we have some text. And the symbol to join stuff is the ampersand, shift 7. Click on that. So right now we have text and whatever's in that cell. So we're joining it together. Hit enter. If I increase the co the width of the column here, notice what happens. And uh, when you do any formula, Excel does not look at the formatting. Here it's formatted with currency. And it looks like it's rounded to 50 cents, but really that's an unrounded number. That's just formatting sitting on top of the unrounded number. So when we do any formula, whether it's text or math, the formula does not look at formatting. So we need to change that. Hit F2, and there's a built-in function just for this. It's called dollar. And what the dollar function does is it takes a number and formats it with currency format and turns it into text. Now, we can tell it how many decimals. However, the default, notice that's in square brackets. Anytime you see an argument in square brackets, it means you don't have to put it in. But the default is 2. That means it rounds to the penny. So you can just do that, that dollar function, enter. And there it is. Uh, you have your payment, your period payment is, and then uh, 1,726.50. Now, it's kind of annoying that that's um, Minus, so we can click in this cell and hit F2. And very carefully in front of the P, put a minus and then enter. And there you have it. Your period payment is $1,726.50. That's how to use a dollar function. See you next trick.